Hawkins is cursed. The Stranger Things 4 trailer promises the return of Hawkins' beloved ensemble. But are the shots of Eleven with a shaved head from the present? I don't have my powers. The Stranger Things season 4 trailer promises the return of Eleven, but are the shots of her with a shaved head towards the end of the trailer flashbacks or in the present? Stranger Things season 4 will be released in two parts, unlike previous seasons of the Netflix show which dropped all at once. Part 1 will release on Netflix in May 2022 with part two coming in July 2022. One of the core elements of Stranger Things since season one has been the development of Millie Bobby Brown's Eleven. In Strange Things season one, Eleven was shown to have much shorter hair than in recent outings due to the time she spent, being subjected to experiments by Martin Brenner regarding her connection to the Upside Down. Since then, Eleven has grown amongst her friends becoming more open and caring as a person and getting over the trauma of her troubled upbringing. However, a few shots from the Stranger Things season 4 trailer showed Eleven with her shorter hair during her experiments, hinting at the show revisiting these moments. Towards the end of the trailer though, a few shots of Eleven with the similarly styled shaved hair looked slightly different from the others featured. Piecing all of the shots of Eleven with short hair together, it isn't conclusive, but it seems extremely likely that some of these shots are of Eleven in the present day or Stranger Things season 4's present day setting. 1986, hinting at a dark future for the young hero and her powers in season 4. In the first shots of short-haired Eleven in the Stranger Things season 4 trailer, she looks visibly younger. One shot, in particular, shows Eleven wearing a familiar hospital-like gown she wore in season 1, covered in blood and looking very much like she did in the first season of Stranger Things in terms of her age. Later in the trailer though, another shot of Eleven with short hair looks slightly different. She is wearing a similar outfit to what Eleven was shown to wear when entering the Upside Down in Season 1, though she looks noticeably older than in the previous shot. The shot shows Eleven being attacked before repelling the men trying to grab her. Shortly after this, the trailer shows an older Eleven with shorter hair in the Upside Down. These shots could point to Eleven being recaptured in the present day and subjected to more tests in Stranger Things Season 4. The shorter hair combined with Eleven's obvious older age as opposed to the earlier image could mean the tests in the present day are in response to an earlier line in the trailers, Eleven not having her powers after the events of Stranger Things Season 3. I don't have my powers. I don't know how to say this. With Paul Reiser's character Sam Owens stating how vital Eleven is to the war with the Upside Down, she may agree to test similar to those she experienced as a child in order to restore her powers and defend Hawkins and her new family. With the obvious de-aging CGI technique used in Hollywood recently on display for the earlier shots of Eleven, it could certainly prove to be the case that these shots are simply not finished in terms of CGI. However, with Stranger Things being notoriously strong with its CGI elements and their integration, and the obviously bigger budget on display as shown by the trailer for season 4, it is much more likely that the latter shots of Eleven are occurring now, in the present day of the Stranger Things timeline. With the first half of the show releasing towards the end of May 2022, the answers to what season 4 holds for Eleven may not be given until the second half of Stranger Things season 4 airs in July. However, with the show and its creators teasing at a much bigger, much more epic showdown with the upside down for the final few seasons, it is no secret that Stranger Things season 4 may subvert expectations in more ways than one, with one being Eleven's direct confrontations with her traumatic upbringing.